God damn it. I wasn't going to watch anything today. I wasn't feeling it. And I have a lot of recordings that I needed to edit, like the first episode of this. And um, I've got four episodes of A Thousand Stars to edit. And I'm having real difficulty editing them because, again, it's getting blocked every time I try to put it up. So I was just going to edit all evening and not watch anything and then just like pick things up tomorrow. And I went onto YouTube for something and this was in my recommended because they've just released the next episode today and at like four different points in the last hour I've thought about this and the fact that it is here waiting for me to watch it and I really want to watch it. So I'm taking a break from editing. I've got my editing stuff down here doing things. And I'm literally going to watch this because otherwise I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. So I'm just going to, I'm going to watch it, okay? I I have to know. I have to find out what happens. Hmm. Oh. Subtitles are helpful, right? Good thing I realised during the preview. Wait, they're still in the hotel room. They're like, <laughs> they're kind of opposite to each other, right? Like, he, he comes across really capable, and then Sun just comes across like, he wouldn't... I'm amazed he's managed to survive life this far, honestly. Is this the same song that was in the intro for the first episode? I don't remember, it's been a few days since I saw it. I don't know, but I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> it's a good song. There's still quite a few characters we haven't seen yet. Oh, he's so cute. I like him a lot. Who is he? Is he someone that's been in other stuff? Mm. God, he looks so cool. Oh man, it looks like there's going to be some really cute moments in this too. Exciting! They're finally going to meet each other properly. Was that dude? I knew it. Where are you going? You're on an island, right? Great first impression, or second impression, I guess. That's what I said! There's no point in doing that, you're on an island, and you need to meet him anyway, right? Sun's really not very good at getting what he wants, is he? He needs to work on his persuasion skills, up his charisma. 
พี่มันก็ใจเย็นก่อนดีวะมังกรมันก็ไม่เคยไปรุ่งร้องใครเหมือนกันมึงใจเย็นแล้วมึงก็อดทนเอาหน่อยเลย Look at Mac and Ty working together to like chill them out. Okay, I kind of get it. So he he's working for um a Shing or technically a Shing's dad, but he he said like, oh, you have to do whatever my son says because. His dad, I forget his name. I don't even know if we know his name, but tough dude. Um, his dad owes money. I understand. I'm with it now. Oh gosh, how did he survive up until this point? He's like a lost lamb. Damn. He's being so rude for no reason. You're really bad at your job, man. Blonde dude doesn't strike me as the kind of person who would need to borrow money, especially 10 million. Like, that's a lot of money, right? But he seems perfectly capable, so I wonder why he owes money. That look, he's like so done with his shit already. I'm surprised he didn't just leave him laying on the floor. <laughs> He's so cute in a really incompetent way. <laughs> oh, he is actually bleeding. Okay. มาที่ทำไมถามขึ้นเหรอถามหอยมั้งถามขึ้นได้เหรอได้ยินไหมล่ะไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ทำไมก็ไม่ทำไมอ่ะทำไมนายคิดว
แค่มาเที่ยวอ่ะหรอมาเที่ยวเสร็จยังเกาะนี้มันก็มีแค่นี้แหละ Why lie? Like just get the job done. Just tell them that you're there for the money. กลับไปซะฮะไม่กลับดิถ้าอยากให้กลับก็จ่ายจ่ายอะไรหายไปไหนแล้วอ่ะโอ้ยชีวิตโอ้ย I don't know why he's so likable. I would have thought that a character that comes across kind of childish like that and really incompetent, I would have thought I wouldn't like a character like that, right? Because I didn't like the characters in Bad Buddy to begin with because they came across really immature. But there's something like really endearing about Sun, and he's just like, he's like a baby deer. <laughs> he's so sweet. Do you think these two are going to get together as well? Are they like our secondary pairing? Or maybe Mech and Tai? That was a weird transition. How are they together? Maybe not. She is this escalated quickly into an argument. No. Oh, he said that was a flashback. Okay, I thought that was a weird transition where you saw him and then you see him again in different clothes. Oh, he looks sad. You're so cute. And you're so gorgeous. They're both so gorgeous. My god. Oh, he knows. And he said again, which means they probably fight a lot. Mm. Oh, I'm so glad I decided to watch this tonight. Oh my gosh. Mm, 
best bros. My god, these characters are going to live in my head rent-free for the next six to eight weeks. They're so adorable. Oh, son. Now what? <laughs> Where is he that that guy can just walk in like this and it's okay? Why are you here? What is happening? I'm guessing that's what he was looking for. You can't tell him what to do. You probably can, to be fair. He's a marshmallow. Oh, he finally said it. So confused. He's like walking around like he owns the entire island. Which, if that was the case, he wouldn't need to borrow 10 million baht. But he literally just walked into that dude's room like he owned it. I really don't understand enough about debts and stocks and stuff to understand what's happening, but I just know that from the vibe I'm getting, Sun's dad is making really bad decisions financially. <laughs> And it's just looking like it's going to get him into more trouble. Mankorn, that's the tough looking guy. <laughs> Your cat is coming. That was cute. Hmm. Friendship triangle. It ain't a friendship square, but it's something. I love how after one day they're like, did you get the money yet? And they're talking to the person who couldn't even secure a single bit of money when he was back in Bangkok with them. Are you avoiding each other? Immediately leaves as he comes in. <laughs> That's great. I guess that answers your question, though. I wonder if they're going to fight each other, actually, rather than get in a pairing. They might actually just fight each other, because we did see that in the intro, right? That there was boxing going on. I really like them both. New character? Oh, 
Do you think this is the friend that the boyfriend was like, you like my your brother's friend? Do you think that's the friend? Potential love triangle. But I don't really know enough about them to be that concerned about it yet. I just really like that guy. Cute. He's getting jealous and possessive. I shouldn't be saying cute. Nemo has a boyfriend. <laughs> Long story. There was this ghost, right? <laughs> how do you even explain how they met? He just offered to sleep with me 30 seconds after I met him. So many likeable characters in this show. Look though, look look at this. Look at the difference, right? Remember Sun last episode? These guys immediately paying up. Look how like spooky those guys look together. They look like so tough and you don't want to mess with them. And then Sun just walked up and was like, please give me money. Like this is what he needs to do. This guy, Ty and Mech, they, they know what they're doing. They're in the right business. I don't know if Sun is in the right business. Weird question to ask. He's so sweet. Oh, he needs adult supervision like 24-7. These two are either going to fight or fuck. Right? They're getting way too much screen time. They they have to be either getting together or like beating the shit out of each other. Oh. 
ขาก็สนใจแต่งงานโทรให้ได้ก่อนถึงพวกยิ่งเงี้ยนั่นอ่ะ I was thinking, like, why is he getting so angry and aggressive? Like, he really is just aggressive, but his anger is at his dad, not towards this guy. God, are they actually gonna fight? That's a really bad idea. Why would you want your future competitor to teach you? You're never going to be better than him. They got some issues to work through before they get on properly. I think Shane's got like real problems with his dad and general anger issues. <gasps> Pretty. It's so weird that like Talay is meant to be like um, blonde guy's best friend. We don't even know the blonde guy's name yet, do we? We just know him as, like the only one who's called him has been the younger brother and he's just called him brother. But it's weird that Talay is like his best friend and yet he's spending all this time with Sun. It's so weird. What is he up to? You couldn't have done that in the restaurant? Oh, his, is that his name? I thought that was the name of the island. Maybe it is. Maybe he does own the island. That's weird. I would pronounce it Arthid, but he said Atid. Okay, let go of his hand. That looks weird. Mm. He's like, what the fuck are these two doing together? Hmm. <laughs> That's the quickest way to get him to leave. Just like, actually, you know, I'm uncomfortable. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting the same vibes with this blonde dude that I had with Lien, where it's like he's kind of an asshole, but he looks fucking gorgeous. Oh, 
No. Siellä sitten. Vaisen teko hoitaa näin. Mitä tuli vaan, se menee siihen. Tuot kaivin, se on niin. Tuot kaivin nyt niin. Didn't I say it was weird that this guy would need to borrow that much money? Do you think he lent his dad that money? And it's the other way around? Ooh. That's not the end of the episode. No! <laughs> no! Like he left him up on the hill. Oh my god, he's even cute behind the scenes. Oh, I like it when he has his hair like that. Look, with the glasses pushing it back. That's cute. So we met a new character, right? We met Tale. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's the end of the episode for another week. God damn it. Alright, let's not pause it on this man's nipple. Okay. I think... I think it's funny that somewhere in here... Mech and Ty, it looks like, are gonna go see Sun's dad. And I thought it was funny that after meeting him, Mech's like, Don't you care about Sun at all? It's like, Ty's known him for like... 30 seconds and then he went off to go do a job like they barely know each other of course he doesn't care about sun why would he um but i think they make a good like debt collecting pair i don't know if they'll actually get together as a pairing but they they're like good as colleagues they actually get the job done i feel like they're in the right business whereas sun is struggling um we got to see a bit more of Nemo this time. He's in a relationship already with someone called JJ. Um, but they argue a lot. And it looks like JJ is concerned that Nemo is interested in Talay. And that Talay is interested in Nemo, which definitely came across that way. Um, whether or not, you know, JJ's fears are actually true or if he's just being jealous we don't know we don't know if they're gonna fix their relationship or maybe if something will develop between him and Tale. We, we just don't know that yet um and i don't want to make any prejudgments on that because i'm not a big fan of love triangles but the main reason why i don't like them is when i know that two of the triangle should be together and then the other person's like getting in the way and messing it up right like with pat pran and ink in bad buddy but i don't get that with this because i don't know jj and i don't know to either of them very well or their relationship with nemo the only one out of that triangle that i really like is nemo so far i think he's really cute and sweet so i'm honestly just happy to see how that plays out and what what happens with their situation and if he fixes his relationship or if he breaks it off and gets with Tale, I don't mind either way which which way they go with that. I just want him to be happy because he's a cutie pie. Oh, this scene was so cute. This poor, poor baby lamb. <laughs> he's, just, he's just trying so hard. Um... He was actually bleeding though, so he was he was actually injured. He wasn't being like a crybaby about it. These guys got more screen time. I think his name is Mang Mancorn. 
something like that and uh shing they're getting some screen time it looks like they're gonna compete uh together in boxing which is interesting oh you're so cute i love you i want to know i might have to look up this actor i think he's really cute i really like blonde guy i've forgotten his name again i thought the island was called it's the one beginning with a yeah it's spelled arthid but i think it might be artid or something like that i think the th is like a hard t sound um and i thought that was the name of the island and it might be the name of the island he might own the entire island i might have actually been right about that because he does walk around like he owns it and it seems like every other person on the island works for him um so i might actually be right about that but that is actually his name as well um which i didn't realize there's like a scene in the restaurant where he's like oh does he have any treasure and this guy's like i did and i'm like why is he just saying the island's name like I, that makes no sense but that's actually the character's name how does he say his name do you see that foul look on his face he's like this man with this fucking hair turns up everywhere <laughs> i did yeah so it is like a t sound um I don't know. I I really like him. I I like both him and Sun. Talay seems all right too, but I don't know him too well. But I definitely I really like them, and I like um the brother relationship between Atid and Nemo. I think they're really sweet as well, and you can tell that they care about each other and they know each other really well. They're sweet. There's so many likable characters. I love them, and I'm I'm so impatient for episode three <laughs> i can't believe how quickly that episode went i cannot believe it oh sweet so he like catches him here to like stop him getting injured again but um it looks like from the preview that he's just gonna leave him up here and drive home which is interesting I I have nothing else to add other than I love it and I'm really enjoying it and I'm so glad I'm watching them in something and I'm so glad I'm not disappointed with what I'm watching like they're really great actors they're both really likable characters I I like it a lot I like it a lot anyway that's it that's all I got so thanks bye